Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing okay, welcome back to Let's Play Serlem Ultimate. Last episode was a massive, massive slog, and probably against my own better judgment, I am recording this other episode later in the same day, not immediately afterwards, I usually take a break between episodes. In this case, I went for a walk, I had dinner, I took a shower, I worked out. I mean, I, I worked out and, and then had a shower. It would be weird to do it the other way around. But yeah, I I feel refreshed. And originally I didn't even want to do another, or I didn't plan to do another episode this day. But the last, because the last one was so slow, like most of the episode was taken up by three very long, irritating fights. I feel like I got robbed. I feel like we got robbed of what could have been, you know, like a potential good number of realms to go through and, you know, stuff to find and all that. So for that reason, I am going to do one more episode and I don't know if I rolled this. I don't remember if I rolled this uh, 422 for myself at the end of last episode. If I did, good job me. If not, then that means uh, this is a... Uh, a lucky bonus for us. We're just gonna jump in, but before that, there is, there was a, uh, there was a change I was contemplating, a change that I was thinking about making to my party, and that is, that is, I'm thinking about replacing one of my party members with Miraxis. Unfortunately, like we just have to keep the dumpling, and that's a waste of a trait. But I could keep. I could replace the centaur with Miraxis and give. Maraxis this trait as a fusion, and this trait as uh, an item bonus, and then we just lose this trait? I know, but this is kind of important to level up you... I don't know, it's a... It's a tough call. Alternatively, we could lose Goad and only be happy with three extra attacks. Sorry, like three attacks total. I don't know. It's a if we find a good Nether Stone that opens up our build and allows us to do this, I am really, really considering bringing Maraxis onto our party. It would uh, help a lot with you know long fights that are just boring slogs. It would shorten them considerably, but those fights also they shouldn't be happening that often. You know, so let's... We had an unlucky... Patch... Last episode, and hopefully our luck turns around. Now, I picked a random realm, and unfortunately it took us... Straight back to one of the realms that we've been farming. So... We've seen a lot of the cutthroat jungle... While we were looking for the, uh... The melon... Oh my god, we were looking for the uh, the melon to spawn, and I guess we're going to be looking at a little bit more of it. Let's uh, go around, actually you not, know let me uh, when you see a nether realm early, you should always immediately enter it, just because Hmm, I wonder what you do. A former arena master, uh, you're gonna be angry. Why don't we have a battle? If we win, you'll give me a special prize. I think we're just gonna wipe you three. I think she's gonna challenge us to two rematches after we beat her. So... We get 500 glory, that's the special arena currency. Yep, she's gonna challenge us to one rematch. And she's got a completely different party with an annoying 
creature who has shuffled the timeline. But likewise, similar to the first fight, it did not help her. I'll, I'll give you one more chance, but you gave me a thousand glory for that, so thank you. And what, what are you going to give us now? Uh, probably either 1500 or 2000 glory if I had to guess. And this, well, you resurrected, but not for long. Okay. And finally she realizes that she's never going to be able to beat it. Never going to be able to beat our party. And gives us 2000 glory. And if you talk to her again, that's all she has to say. So, I guess that was fine. Um, it's uh, one of the more unusual encounters, so I'm okay with it. Even though it's, we didn't really have any pressing need for the uh, arena currency. Oh, that guy just rushed it. Oh my god. What have these enemies done? I mean... Our animatus was able to clean things up pretty well, but still, that was, that was pretty annoying. So we are working on the... Uh, uh, magma Golem. I'm actually going to do 10 of them, because it uh, seems like a good floor to farm on. Nice. A relatively good farming floor. Oh, and there's a treasure golem as well. Uh, you know what? No need to save our non-ethereal gems. We can just go at it willy-nilly. And if we're lucky, we'll even find a card. But if we're unlucky, which we usually are, then we won't. Alright, so we summon 10. Let's summon another 10 and uh, try and try our luck this time. Alright. What are we gonna get? Oh, there's a treasure golem as well. We'll, uh, we'll deal with you in due time. Alright. Come on. Jeez. What the fuck are you guys doing? Alright. Reincarnation. There we go. You are the troll master. Should be an easy fight. What is your thing? <sighs> yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I'm not even going to do rabbit dementia. I'm just going to... Oh, boy. Maybe I... Maybe I was being a bit overconfident, but, I mean, these guys don't seem that scary. Maybe... Yeah, why was that front and center guy so hard to hit? Or so hard to damage with the attack? Must have been... something. Alright, you guys went down. And we are Berserk and Repelling. Ooh, Master of Trolls 6 is the achievement we got there. And some well-earned treasure. And... Just kill you. There we go. Good stuff. Let's... Chase down this... Oh god, this treasure golem. He's... Escaped to the left of the map, so let's just let him be for now. Let's explore the rest of the uh, the right side. And maybe we can finish off this quest. Pink. Do you guys see any pink mushrooms? Yes. There they are. Enemies are snared as well, that should help. Unfortunately, it's not going to apply to this treasure golem. So we're going to have to do something like this. I'm even going to do this. 
And I'm gonna do this. Dead. Oh, we have no additional attacks! That's what's messing with us in this realm. Oh, this chest is a mimic. Nice arbitration. Oh, and we've got maximum buffs as well. <sighs> irritating, but definitely not as irritating as what we were dealing with the previous episode. Uh, these enemies are obtuse. How could they be so obtuse? Alright. Nearly back up to 4.5 million power. Alright, and I go this way, nothing there. And hey, look! We completed our realm quest. I was wondering why we weren't getting that event like to make progress. It's because I guess we had a special version of it where uh, we had to like where like only one specific type of them counted or something like that. Anyway, let's go up and around. Let's go up to the left. What do you what do you guys have for us? What do y'all have for us? How about a card? Maybe a card? No card? Okay. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. It's funny but also irritating when enemies like briefly like their AI glitches out and instead of chasing you they run away from you. It also throws me off a lot, because, like, all golems kind of look alike. And when he was running away, I'm like, is there a second treasure golem? No, it, like, normally, if there's a random treasure golem spawn, you'd only have one of those in a realm. So I'm like, yeah, this isn't a treasure golem, this is one of our golems who's just momentarily confused is all that's going on. All right, come on. Card, give me a card. Give me a card. Damn it. No card. No card. Sad times. But I guess there's always the next round. Oh, there's something in the vomit. I, I guess we might... It's possible we could find another uh, melon, you know? We still have the uh, the dumpling in our party for the uh, omelette progress. And if we randomly get sent here or to the blood grove, we would have a chance, I believe, of finding another one of those special dumplings. Alright, let's go this way. Feels like a nice, relaxed episode so far. And I'm happy about that. Right, one last enemy. Possibly a couple chests. And then we'll be done. Right, what do we have here? Just give me a moment, just had to adjust my earphone. Nothing there. Nothing there. Grab this. Finding all kinds of sources of loot, but none of them giving us what we need. Alright. I feel like I'm missing one of those fruit things that you eat off the ground. Because usually the last one you eat will complete one instance of that quest. But maybe it's the realm quest that threw off the uh, the count on that. Cause I'm not I'm not seeing anything else. All I'm seeing is like this stuff. N no chests there. Oh 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 oh! We've got to. Ooh, hang on. Before we leave, we've got to finish this. 
that gives us a bit of a more favor with Torrent. Alright, we're gonna do a new realm. No boss fights in here, so let's just roll ourselves a nice juicy bonus. Any moment now. 386. Acceptable. Alright. Random realm again, and hopefully we see something we haven't seen in a while. Here we go. Unsullied Meadows. What's up, alien? Long time no see, my man. My, my eagle-faced dude. Uh... I, we can't see his uh, his graphic anymore, but it's one of, one of the cooler looking gods in my opinion. Resurrect on death? Is that a thing? Uh, that is a thing. Ah, uh, that sucks. That kind of sucks. Uh, well, we can manage though. Okay. Grab that. Intelligence and enemies are losing defense. That's good. More intelligence. They're losing speed now. Grab this. While we're here, D did we buy creatures from. Uh... Oh god, I hate vortexes so much. I hate vortexes so much. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna. Oh god. Uh, I, I, fine, I'll buy them. Jeez. Fine, I'll buy them. Now we can summon them, and there's probably at least one that's completely new. Yeah, the Vortex Observer, which we'd never even seen. So that's just a completely new entry into, into our bestiary. Alright. Give you some of the stuff. Give you some of that stuff. Get that, and you know what, let's start... ...summoning some of our friends... ...the magma golems. We're just gonna do 10, I think. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, the Resurrect on Death is essentially like we're killing them twice. So, one group of 10 is enough for this realm. I mean, it's, it's going to be annoying, but at least, at least we can say we tried. At least we can say we tried. Oh boy. around. Nothing there. Alright, let's go back and around. What's this? Nothing there. A whole bunch of creatures. Oh, and I think I saw another nether realm. Should enter that as soon as we can. I think we're gonna have to fight all these guys first. <sighs> These guys are being a pain. They've got a corrupted phoenix, I think, who's constantly killing our dread white. Uh, yeah, that's annoying. A 
I'm just gonna wait for this now. It would be much faster without those extremely redundant corpse explosions, which I've talked about at length. Okay, this is the one where there's a guy stuck in the back, and if you talk to him, he's gonna give you something. And he's gonna give us some of the treasure he found, which had nothing particularly exciting in it. One thing I like to do, though, just because it's satisfying, is I like to destroy all the stuff. And I wish there was like a secret outcome if you talk to him after uh, destroying all of that clutter, but it doesn't look like there is. Okay, let's grab this, grab that, go down here, grab you, and yeah, alright, I'll, I'll fight these guys. What are they fused with sadists? Uh, seems to be fairly manageable. Alright, we've got splashing, enemies are poisoned. The Griffin Master, alright, this is gonna be an interesting fight. Right, what is your deal? Effects occur one additional time, I don't like that, it's just gonna make the fight go longer, so we're just gonna blank slate that away. I'm gonna do this. I think we're gonna try it to win. There we go, I think we're just fine. Oh, except they're gonna resurrect. Except we're gonna kill most of them, all of them. There we go. Our fifth win against the Griffin Master. Hey! We definitely were not fighting, <laughs> excuse me, we're not fighting Imlings. So this uh, card is from the random loot that you get after a master fight. It'll give you some items that relate to the master, like the mastery trait material, and at certain levels you'll get costumes and things like that, but a bunch of other loot as well, and other instances of loot like that have a chance to contain really rare things like uh, skins for, I think, God spawn creatures or cards or nether stones. In this case, we got really lucky with that, and in fact, even got a new bonus. Creatures have more defense when they're defending, and then that's just a straight up good thing, which I'm actually pretty happy about. So, not the card we were farming for, but I will happily take it. I will happily take it Ooh, and complete our realm quest, get some more favor with you. Kill these guys. Yeah, it had been a while since we last had a card drop for us, so I'm, uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh my god, these guys are the worst. Oh my god. Just fucking die. There we go. There we go. Nothing there. Yeah, I'll grab that. Uh, here, there's one more enemy somewhere on this map. Probably one of the uh, golems we summoned. And other than that, we are ready to move on to the next realm. There we go. Oh, we've got... Oh, yeah, we've got the, uh... The mini quest as well. We've got to, uh... Do the, the feather thing. 
And the feather is also going to summon enemies. So that's going to be a little bit annoying, but it, I think it has a good chance of summoning uh, nemesis creatures. So at least that's a bit of loot as well. Yeah, now there are two enemies on the map that were not there previously. This one is not a nemesis. And but there should be one more. I think this one's going to be a nemesis, is my prediction. Oh, it's not, I guess. I guess I was wrong. I thought they always spawned a nemesis creature when new creatures were spawned in by events like this. Anyway, this one gives us our favor close to the next favor rank. Unfortunately, not quite close enough. But a bit of progress nonetheless. There we go. Oh, and the buried treasure as well. Alright, let's... Is there anything to do back in Surlem? I don't think so. Back in our castle. So, let's just move on to our nether boss fight. Oh, not quite yet. But one more realm to go through. Uh, Restract on death. I... I'm gonna try and get something else. I mean, I know I can roll something else, and it could still be Restract on Death in one of the hidden realm properties, but... Like, let's at least try to give, us some, give ourselves something. Oh, oh, I got 414 and then I rolled past it, because I can't think and click at the same time. I... God, that, that's painful. That is so painful. I just shouldn't talk while I'm rolling this. Oh my god, all my power is evaporating. And I wasted a Really good bonus. Jeez, what the fuck? Why are we not... <laughs> We've gone so long... ...without seeing any good roll. And we're seeing some really low ones too. Who would ever take 170? F fine. Fine. 362, fine. Doesn't feel... How much... Uh, we're back in the blood group. How much power did we spend? We were nearly at 4.5 million. Now we're just b below 4.3 million. That's really, that really sucks. Alright. I mean, at least they're not healing every turn, right? At least there's that. I think we're also gonna reach a new favor rank with the Pokenox here, so th there's that. That felt really bad. We could have had 414, now we're stuck with 360 something. Uh, okay. Sure. Alright. No additional attacks or casts will suck. But I think we're fine. 
There we go, easy. We're getting back some of the power we wasted. Invisible enemies are blind, I really want snared. And yeah, let's start summoning some uh, magma golems. And you know, let's quickly deal with this master as well. The bard master, who's gonna shuffle the timeline. Or maybe not. I think we're just gonna win easily like this. Easy fight. Easy fight. Board mastery now at six. What? We'll kill you, then summon five more, and then we'll just clear the realm like normal. Alright, now, yeah, let's clear the realm. What are we at for uh, time? Oh, we're making good time. We can probably do maybe one more realm after this. We'll, uh, we'll see. Yeah, let's go into... Uh, here we've got these mini boss realms as well, which are always good sources of loot. Silenced is great. I don't know why my animators lost his turn. Hey, look, piece of garbage, nether stone. Grab myself another buff and debuff my enemies. Because that thing does respawn. Like, the room resets to what it was before you entered, essentially, once you finish the boss fight. And any interactable objects that do anything will also respawn and will do the, the thing again if you're eligible for it. Okay, more of you. We're about to finish the realm quest. Spent nearly 200,000 power, I think, rolling for uh, this bonus. God, this hut is going to be annoying to get back to. Go around here, yeah, this is a... This is an awkwardly laid out realm. Quickly grab these two guys. Grab you. There's this mini boss realm. I think that's our final buff and debuff. Alright. Oh, slightly better, but still garbage. Nether stone. And nothing from that. Down here, grab that. Go here, nothing there. Thirteen enemies remain on this map. Oh god, what 
is this? This map is really awkwardly laid out. Like we still have to find wood and then go all the way back to that one house. There, there are enemies ambushing us around all of these corners. There's another house. I don't even know if we have anything for this guy. Because I haven't come across any wood, I don't think. Well, all the wood is here, so that helps. Is there anything in here? Mm, nope. Grab this. Here, nothing there. All right. And we do have the wood for that one house. And if there's anything else in this realm that gives us favor, we are gonna get another favor rank as well. So that'll be nice. There we go. Traps grant essence. I mean, uh, sure, don't really need essence, but I guess that's, strictly speaking, that is better. So thanks for that, I guess. gain another achievement for that as well. Right, now we need to go up and around, find that first house again. Nothing there. And there we go. Now we go all the way back. Yeah, this is a not not a huge fan of the layout in this realm. And we've got five enemies left to kill. Alright, are we gonna get a card? Are we gonna be that lucky? answer is well not the final enemy yet but from these guys the answer is no okay, okay while well, we wait for this battle to end I'm just gonna quickly have a bit of water Gotta stay hydrated. Very important. Especially in this humid weather. Alright. <coughs> yeah, I should mention, I'm recording this in August, even though it's not gonna be up until December. And uh, I've mentioned this before, but the reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm probably not gonna have much time for recording between the months of uh, September and December due to work, but I do have free time now. So I'm using it to basically record several months worth of episodes in advance, and I'm almost done. Like just in the nick of time, because a couple weeks from now I've got to fly to the US for like a week, and then like 10 days after that, work's gonna start. Alright, we're back in Surlem. We've got a couple projects to hand in. Uh, th that's our prophecy done. How's our prophecy looking, by the way? What do we need to do? The forage mission is gonna be done soon. So is the pilgrimage. Buried treasure could take a while, but let's get this gambling out of the way.
There we go. Forge mission done. I think I want to start another uh, training mission. Let's do another speed training. Let's uh, do some gambling. I think we have to play Cyrilopoly and Kino. We're just going to spend three tickets. Yeah, let's do Cyrilopoly first because it could potentially be longer. Stone is fine. I'd rather have the uh, special currency, the notoriety. Granite, sure. I guess this is the last thing we get. Oh, and let's do some. Sort of lo oh, I just played this. I was trying to go for the Kino guy, but then I got confused and turned around. I guess we're playing this twice. Even more brimstone, sure. Granite. Crystal, there we go. N now let's do the thing I actually wanted to do, which is Kino. Do it like this. Not bad, 900 notoriety, pretty good. Alright, now let's go in and fight this nether boss. Flubris. What was the deal with Flubris? I think he had some... something. Like, all of them have... like, a lot of them potentially have uh, annoying things to deal with. But what was the deal with Flubris? Oh, right, okay. He's going to be sometimes immune to stuff. Right, okay. That's what's happening. But I think we can just fight you in a random realm. No need to retreat to the arachnid nest. 395. Acceptable. Let's just go. Alright. Barons. Good times. Good timing getting this as well. This should apply to the current realm, I think. Oop. I'm gonna make a beeline for that, uh... Oh, extra speed? Extra speed. Uh, I love the music in this realm. Right. Repelling and debuffing our enemies. Ooh, there's that as well. Let's... Let's grab this. And do this first. Okay, Crispy is gonna let us open chests until we find a chest with <clears throat> an insulting note inside. And... Uh, I guess we only got to open one chest. I wonder if it's scripted so that you are always allowed to open at least one chest. Microbots. Interesting. I wonder if that's the case, because I don't think I've ever... Ooh, hey! Mountain Priest card. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we play on this high loot bonus now. Is that like a the priest set? I would assume. Okay. Creatures have more speed while defending. Interesting. Interesting. Screeching barrage is pretty deadly. But I think these guys are screwed. Yep. 
With screeching barrage was why we were taking damage, right? Yep. Screeching barrage. Uh, there are some builds, some pretty good ones, that use that. Like to kill enemies off really quickly. Alright. Alright. Six enemies and a master remain. <sighs> this is a little bit annoying. Right. This. And of course somebody's gonna... Oh, they're fused with elementals! Is that what's happening? Oh, this guy, I thought that was gonna be our master, but that was just a, a civilian. That's our master. The Paragon Master. Um, they are fused with elementals. This sucks. And they're going first. Fortunately, we're shutting down their, uh, what would normally be 11 extra attacks with uh, our singleton anointment. Now we need to do Black Slate. Now we need to do this. I think we can just try to win. Excuse me? Like, what? Uh, I think one of the elementals has a really high dodge chance, which is what was making that annoying. Right. Hey, look at that! Another another stone. We're finding some nice stuff this episode. A whole bunch of nether stones, none of them useful, but they can all be turned into piety later on. Trying to go around. You know what, let's just quickly deal with this nether boss. Flubris. Yeah, we've seen all this before. He will occasionally be uh, immune to spells as well. So that really sucks. So, Clayman. Uh, Archangel. Clayman again. What are you doing, dude? Blight? Are you serious? Are you? F are they copying our spell gems? No, they're just being a bunch of dicks. Alright. Uh, well, we need this double cast clay man. The ebony ant can uh, use antidote. There we go. I did the. Fuck, why did my... Dread White lose his turn. What what happened? Where even was this? What? I don't even know. But, like, my Dread White really needs to take his turn. Otherwise, this entire scheme is gonna fail, and it's gonna fail very badly. Let's arbitrate. Uh, you, d you don't have arcane, so don't do anything. Um, I don't know, just... Okay, um...
I'm gonna try something. Um, is can we use time walk to change Fluvris to a different kind? But let's for now just. And use contagion. That didn't do anything. I guess these are all immune to spells. Like, does it. It should tell you which color of slime is immune to what. Otherwise, it's a little bit too annoying. Like,. Do another uh, double clay man, I guess. And please, Dread White, don't lose your turn. Alright, entangling roots. There we go. Fain. Fain, death. Worked well. Okay, are you are you attacking? Oh, they're provoking as well. End of turn provoke. This fucking sucks. Ah, oh, god. Um, what? If I did time walk on you, would you change to something else? I don't even know which one is provoking, because that one's still provoking. Oh, oh god. This is impossible. Uh, like, the, like this, coupled with end of turn provoke, is just... Are they all immune to indirect damage? This group... Oh my god. Oh god, this is... This is outrageous. So the blue ones are obviously either immune to attack or immune to attack and spells. <sighs> you piece of piece of trash. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And... And after all that... Oh my god, this motherfucker has bob and weave. This is... Unbearable. Why... why is... It... Well, at least that piece of trash is dead. And now we're gonna find out if... Okay, so blue means you're immune to attack and spells, and purple means you're immune to spells. Oh, this is a, a, a another dumb gimmick that I would argue shouldn't even be in the game. Like, like, the real question you should ask yourself is, is it fun? Like, playing this fight, is it fun? I would argue, not, not, not really. Oh my god, uh, okay, what, okay, so time walk? Oh, I didn't even cast time walk on the correct thing, okay. Who has time walk? Oh, 
Oh my god. What have you got now? Oh man, fucking piece of garbage. So green should be attackable, right? Is he, is he, do was he dodging? No, was he dodging our attacks or? He, he was fucking dodging, you piece of garbage. Do they have dodge chance? Like what? <sighs> what a fucking awful thing to have enemies fused with. Okay. There we go. So these guys are, are immune to spell damage, obviously. And the blue. <sighs> yeah, keep attacking the. Keep attacking that one guy. Keep attacking that one guy. Come on. Another really dumb fight. <sighs> Just fuck off, you piece of garbage. of garbage. Alright. Now we can run around and get all these oases that I've been leaving. Oh yeah, and there are other enemies on this map as well. I'm not gonna do any candles on this uh, on this map. Because enemies going first and also being fuel, uh, fused with elementals little bit beyond the pale. Yeah, that was an ordeal. Not as bad as uh, the fights in the previous episode, but still. It's uh, definitely killing my buzz. A little bit. What time are we at uh, in this episode? 59 minutes. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to end after this one. But you know what? It's, it's fine. Oh yeah, there are mini boss rooms as well, which we should definitely do. Hopefully we find something. Hopefully we find something good. There, nothing there. All right. Mm -hmm. Grab this. Grab that. Three enemies remain somewhere on this map. And there's another oasis. Uh, 
And let's just be thankful that the enemies aren't attacking 11 times. Okay, some Nexes are gonna attack us. They have scorned us. Should be fine, because we don't really need to cast... Or, or, like, we don't need to attack with most of our creatures. We can just do this. Get some more favor. Okay. Okay, let's... Come on. Let's just... Let's just... End this realm now. I think we're all ready for things to come to a close. But we've got a little bit more left to do in this realm, just a few... Well, there's there's one more enemy left somewhere. And some... Loot to pick up as well. Another, ooh, another uh, mini-boss realm. Quickly deal with this one. Okay, come on. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, this could be a dumb fight. Cockatrice fused with elementals. Fortunately, we killed them before they started doing any silly stuff. Not summoning anything, no thank you. Let's go up and around. Go down here, up here, anything here. Another chest with nothing in it. And nothing there. Alright. Let's take a quick look. Uh, ooh, there's another uh, little hut over there who we need to. Ooh. And these oases. Oh, we get a double chest when we get treasure. That's good. That's good. And more treasure from you. But nothing exciting. Alright, let's head back home. Got a couple projects to turn in. And we're just going to start wrapping up. Right, what do you... Uh, you're almost full as well. Alright. Pilgrimage done. Key forge done. Let's start another key forge. Let's take a look at our prophecies. Death creatures to kill, buried treasure to find. If by the time we've killed all the death cr creatures, we haven't found at least one buried treasure, I'll hand this rune of prophecies in as is. Otherwise, we'll we'll try and fill it out fully, because uh, this looks like kind of a good a good couple of lines that we could add to it. Yeah, that's that's how we'll do it. So for now, we'll just start a pilgrimage with Aeolian, possibly. Uh, let's do perdition. Anything else we wanted to do? I think we're done. Let's just reflect on what we accomplished this episode. We're finally back to doing uh, random realms, and it felt pretty good. Other than that Flubris fight, who we won't have we won't have to see him or Chroma again for a while. So, you know, that's gonna be good because I I don't enjoy uh, those gimmicks. But anyway, we dealt with them. We killed them. And uh, we got the achievement for killing Fugris, and of course we got some other achievements for killing the various masters and, you know, other miscellaneous things, like in this case, for being favored by Apocrinox to, uh, like, the 8th rank of that achievement, which is for gaining rank 40. Favor rank 40. But yeah, that was a, that was a good one. Ooh, we also found a couple of cards from random loot. 
Uh, what do we find? We've got 146 cards total. One was... An Imbler card, I think, and one was a Priest card. Yeah, Priest card was the more recent one, and we found an Imbler card as well. That was our first card from that set, and that felt pretty good. But we are st still, of course, working on the uh, Golem set. Still four cards left to go on that one but yes that is all that we accomplished this episode another fun one and uh, i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and i hope you'll join me for the next one and until then take care